Hello, hello. It is Friday. It is two o'clock and I am walking the dog. It's Friday. It's two o'clock. I'm not at work. Look at me. I'm not, I'm not at work. I left work at one o'clock because we're going, you know, on our, our adventure. Um, so I had to come home. Uh, we have to leave at a certain time. Um, but I got most of my mail out. I got every single one of my packages out. My manager approved every, like all my leave. So I don't feel bad. Anyway, it's two o'clock. I'm giving Benson a walk and then um, my son is gonna come and stay um, with him. We're only going for like a night, maybe two, maybe. Um, XO is staying with their BFF, so everything is cool. Just trying to give him a little bit of a walk. I hope you guys have been doing okay. I'm doing better, uh, not 100%, but you know, I feel like maybe this trip will be you know something fun so we'll see we'll see but i just want to pop in and say hello before i didn't start the vlog because we're going to leave in about i don't know 30 minutes but i will vlog there's old bean maintenance guy just walked past me and he's really nice but he always says that benson's fat Hello, hello. We just got into North Carolina and my back is about to break. When I was young, in my 20s, my early 20s, I would drive from Virginia to West Palm Beach, okay? No big deal. But I mean, as I got older, I couldn't keep driving and I would start, I started flying and then taking the train. Actually, it took the train a lot. Um, we're in this, to North Carolina. We've been maybe driving maybe two hours, okay? And I'm about to fall out. I can't even get out of the car. I hurt so bad. We've got two more hours to go, but I've got a, I've got a pillow back there that I'm going to like cram up against my back. But yeah, I, um, did I tell you guys we're going to Key West in December and, uh, we were going to drive? Well, um, I don't know about that because that's a thousand, well, it's more than a thousand miles because from Virginia to West Palm Beach, where I, you know, I'm from, uh, it's a thousand miles. And anyway, I just want to check in and say hello. Uh, we're at a rest area. I'm going to get out, stretch my body, get that pillow, use the potty, and then get back in the car. So, bro. works. Hello, it is 8.30. I am sitting in the parking lot of a biker's bar, cracking skulls. Um, Eddie is in there talking to his marine friends that are going to go on this hike tomorrow. I figured I'd come out here and say hello to you. We made it. Fayetteville, uh, we checked into the hotel, but I'll give you a room tour. It's a really big hotel. Like It's it's like the shining in that hotel. It, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary inside. But I just want to pop in and say hello. The car is a disaster. Um, it started out really nice and neat and organized. And then, I don't know, I feel like when you take a road trip, it just gets, you know, crazy. But we're here. We're here. We made it. Everything went smooth. It was a longer drive than I thought it was going to be. It was like five and a half hours long, but we did it. Listen to some music. All right. It was, it was nice. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to go back in there and find Eddie and we're going to go to Walmart of all places because he forgot his shoes. For the hike he forgot like he just has his uh slides on so <laughs> you know we go on a little road trip and we end up at walmart but it's cool it's cool and everyone's everyone's really nice everyone's really nice i'm not a military person i didn't come from military back my first husband was military and is still military but i just never really was a military you know i just wasn't um not not that i didn't want to be but i just wasn't anyway um so, but they're really nice, um, bunch of Marines in there, uh, ragging on the Navy, it seems, uh, ra I guess they just rag on each other. I'm not sure how that works, but anyway, I'm going to go back inside. I just want to pop in and say hello. And the last couple clips I know are kind of all over the place. Um, I feel like when I haven't vlogged in a long time, I don't know how to vlog. Okay.
and I left my stylus at home. So we're going to, you know, editing this is going to be lots of fun with my big fat fingers. Anyway, I'll check back in with you probably at Walmart. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, who, who cares? Because every Walmart and every, like, different city, they're all different. And maybe we'll find something, you know, that Norfolk doesn't have, okay, that I need from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Maybe I'll come back with an accent. I don't know. I know that it's kind of cold right now. Uh, but I will check back in with you later. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good night. I'm going to go in there and find Edward. And we're going to go to Walmart. We have arrived and we have slightly unpacked our things and this is the room. It is just a basic hotel room, you know, for the night. We got our necessities out here, some shoes. Yeah, giant bed with only three pillows, this whole bed three pillows but that's okay look at how big this window is look at that thing anyway this is the room i would like three more pillows bathroom is in there with a nice big shower um, eddie's taking a shower right now which i will do after him but this is the room oh otd kids murdering each other represent I'm just going to go ahead and assume that North Carolina has banned abortion. I'm just going to assume it. From what I'm seeing on the TV and the political ads and this and that, which is... <laughs> okay, um, Eddie and I, we don't talk about it as much anymore. I mean, not our opinions are the same-ish. He sees, like, both sides of it. Okay, we have some different opinions, and sometimes when we start talking about it, when well, the beginning, when we started talking about it, we would get into an argument, because I have very strong feelings about it. I am, I, I don't, I'm not going to get into all of it, because obviously you know how I feel, but, you know, I, I, I don't think in any time, any, any time at all, that there's going to be a law saying, you know, let's cut a man's balls off so that he can't reproduce after a certain age. Or this, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, but it's okay for a woman. It's okay for them to tell me, to tell me, oh, well, your uh, uncle raped you and now you're pregnant. But, and you're 10 years old, so you got to have this big. It's enraging. It's an, I'm sorry. My God. Every commercial is like... The, the political, political, like, geez, Louise, I just, I'm done. And for any man to say, I understand, or, you know, this is why it should be banned. Well, you don't, you, you really don't. Like, I don't even, I don't even know how a man could, you know, what? Why are you even, why am I watching a political ad with a man, like, telling me, What? Like, what, right, I, I'm just like, you have no, you shouldn't even be talking. Like, your mouth shouldn't be moving. Those words shouldn't be coming out of your mouth. For, why? Because you're a man. I'm done. Um, it's 1130. I'm going to wash my face and get ready for a bed. As it stands right now, when I wake up, my morning coffee is going to taste like poo-poo, okay? Because they have a little tiny, you know, coffee maker. I did not bring my own. It's only one night. I know, right? It's only one night, Meredith. Get over it. Um, but still, I like to have a cup of coffee in the morning. I do. I get up. I go potty. I start the coffee maker. Like, that's my routine. Drink the coffee. I need, I need, not that it's going to make me an angry bear, but I need a cup of coffee. I don't know what to do. Um, so, all, I, and we can't, I, there's no, where are the 7-Elevens? Where are they? I don't know where they're at. We were on the way home from the meet and greet thing. And Eddie says, look up a 7-Eleven. You know, because I'm going on about coffee. I look it up on his phone. It says 7-Eleven. So we map, we map it. 
and we're going all over the place. We're going up hills. We're going, you know, what? this is it, North Carolina. We're going like this, round and round. And I was like, well, damn, and where the hell is 7-Eleven? Were they hiding the 7-Eleven? Anyway, we finally end up at 7-Eleven Executive Center. It's like a business area. I was ta It was taking us to 7-Eleven, like, business area, some kind of office building. We never did find the 7-Eleven, um, so I never got a coffee, but, you know, whatever. First world problems, right? I'm going to go. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, as always, I will be better. I just, I had, I was just having, a, I was, I was really having a hard time. I really, I really was. And it sucks because I mean I'm feeling better but oh God the things the your mind and your brain like the things you do to yourself you it's true like you were your own you were your own worst enemy because I did I brought I did you know what I mean it's just like the things that you think in your I'm not saying it's obviously but the things like you can think in your brain and your head and your thoughts that you you would never say, you know, like if somebody, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just like, how can we be like so hard on ourselves? I don't know. I really gotta, I really gotta work on it. I really do. Um, but right now I'm going to go. I will talk to you tomorrow. I don't know how to end the vlog without saying it. As always, I'll vlog again tomorrow. Bye everyone.